example of how to use your Melita uh, espresso machine. So you get your espresso machine and you've got your coffee and your tamper combo. You've got two sizes of um, coffee ground hold. You can line that the button up to this notch to slide it in and out to change your size. I find this is better whether I'm making one or two. But when I use this, it's um, it's too weak. So I've also found that the Melita Europa coffee is really good. So that's what we're going to use today. So you turn your Melita on, hit the button when both of these lights uh, turn on. You're ready to start brewing. You fill and tamp your um, your coffee in the espresso holder. Slide it in. The lever must be up. You lock it in place like that. And then you're ready to uh, brew your coffee. To steam your milk, you would turn this knob over here for steam. Uh, when you're ready to brew your coffee, you can turn it to this side and it'll brew your coffee. And if you notice, it will come out in two streams. One, two. So you can put two little coffee, espresso coffee cups here, and it'll collect for two cups of um, espresso. So we're going to make uh, cafe au lait this morning, which is half steamed milk and half coffee. So right now I'm going to get the coffee out. And to make two cups of espresso. And add some more coffee to that. down and that is ready. Now I'm going to get the milk to steam. Purge your um, your spout. Just turn it and make sure you get there's no leftover milk from the last time. That looks good. Turn that off. This little part must be on. If you lose that, it's not good because you're not going to be able to get the same uh, steam. All right, so I put the, I don't have a metal um, container, so I use the Pyrex, and it works just fine. So I'm going to do that. So if you look in here, you'll see it's starting to uh, create the foam. It's nice small bubbles. You can feel it to see when it's warm. I usually just use my pinky over there. Milk is still cold. It takes about a minute and a half to two minutes, I think. We can actually time it now. So it's up to 27. Warm. 
not hot yet. And this is a warming tray, so when I'm done, I'll just put it up here so it'll keep it warm. It's not very hot, it really is just warm. You do want it hot. Else it'll make your coffee warm if this is not hot and you pour half of it in there. It's getting hot down in the bottom. It's still cold. Warm. Nice uh, stiff uh, broth up there. That's good. So that's good. So on the machine, I'm going to turn this off. You see the steam coming out there. Be sure you pop this because it really it um, it sends some steam and water. See the liquid in there through this little hole. You can't see it, but um, that's in there. Let's put that back. Put this up here. You want to clean this out. Um, quickly, as you see, it's, I just rinse it off so the foam doesn't get stuck in the plastic, uh, and it rinses right off. But with this, you want to use soapy water and then clean it. Um, but, so I don't have the little mugs, a special cup, so I just do this. And you do whatever you have and figure out how to get it to work. So I do that, I make sure the middle is in the middle there. And turn that on. So now you'll see the coffee. And it creates its own creme from the coffee. And that's what you see. So I usually pull it up to about here for that amount of um, espresso ground. So it's up to you what how strong you like it. At this point, it's just whatever your taste is. So that is just the coffee with the creme uh, being created in the machine from the coffee. And once that's done, I'm going to turn this back off. And I'm going to pour half coffee and half creme in here. And that looks about right for me. Wait till it stops dripping. Move it off. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, now I'm just going to pour that in there, half in there, get a spoon, I think I might have made a little too much coffee, I mean, get some of that, beautiful, and voila, you can add cinnamon or whatever you want whatever you'd like to put in there, and you're done. That's it. Enjoy.